how's it going? My name is George from Sheriff. What we're finding today is what's become very popular is uh, wood, color bo wood color boxing. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show how to throw a few points of skew. That's a bit loud. How to throw, walk the heavy bag. Just today, walk the heavy bag. Left, right, left. Nothing strenuous, nothing, nothing hard. I'm either doing a walk at myself so I'm fairly warmed up. So I don't really have to warm up that much. So this is the heavy bag over here, as you can see. Now, I'm going to show you exactly how to throw punches on that. Get in and get out, and then I want to discuss something else if you don't mind. It's a bit cold now, I'm sweating, so just keep bear, bear with me. The myth we're going to use is uh, somewhere along here. Let me out of here. So we use heavy mitts on heavy bags. Well, I'm not using wraps at the moment, but generally what you do is you put on wraps. Which is bandages, just put on the wraps, but for the, for the sake of this little short uh, video, I'm going to show you. Now, left, right, left, the three basic combinations. Left, right, left. The three basic points are starting with basic combination. Left, right, left. That's a soft left, right, left. Left, right, left. You with me? Left, right, left. That's it. From the heavy bag, it's going to me. I want to talk, walk on body punches, body shots. In and out. Right, right to the body. In there. In there. In there. Down. In there. What do I need to see? In there. 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 In you want to walk the body. The whole skill behind boxing is to get in, get out of your punches, and get out. When you're coming out, remember, come out, not on a punch, but as your guard's up. Left, come out. Left, come out. Left, right, left, come out. Show it. Step in, step out. Come on, the horse now, look at that. Come on, the horse now. Right through the back. That's gone, look at that. Heavy back. Come on, the horse now, heavy back. Anyway, that's amazing, huh? <coughs> Just bear with me. Now, they're the basic shots. I'm ready to know about that. They're the basic shots on body walkouts. Drop down, drop down. Get in, get out, bang, bang, bang. Get out. Get in, get out. Don't hang around. Don't hang around. One step in, one step out. Just bear with me. Yeah. This is on the uh, cheap video for YouTube. Just friends of mine are involved in it. And they can't be going around with everybody. So he said, throw it up the video. Left, right, left. Get in and get out. Get in and get out. Bang, 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 bang. See? Bang, 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 bang. Then you get up, bang, bang, bang. See, in up, in up, bang, bang, in up. Now, now, hope you learned something there. Remember, left, right, left, left, right, left. Get in and get out, bang, 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 in now, bang, 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 in now, down, under, down, under, bang, 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 bang. I'm about to walk some heavy bike. Bang, 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 in down, under, bang, 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 down, under. Bang, 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 down on the, get on the, that's it, now, thanks very much for the time and I hope you learned something, just take those steps, practice them in, the, in your uh, bedroom before you go into the gym, if you're involved in white collar boxing, so you don't get hurt in the ring, because remember boxing is all about this, laying, laying affliction on their opponent, fists break noses, fists break ribs, fists break jaws, regardless of what experience you have, in and out of the ring, you can get hurt, so my, the voice is, keep the guard up, Now's Muhammad Ali, left, 
right, left. Get all your shots, left, right, left. Get all the shots, left, right, left. That was left, right, sorry. Get all the shots. Anybody, how's it going? My name is George Fitzgerald. Pleased to meet you. There's another pub as well, I'm doing this short video on for YouTube. There's my first book, somebody up there likes me too. I'll talk about it in a second. There's my second book called The Manuscripts. And what should be out, please God, in the new year, in January, is The Ticking Clock. And that was the cover was designed by Daniel Fitzgerald. And the hat I was wearing earlier is a belong to his clothing range called Profit. Anyway, thank you very much for taking the time. As I said earlier, just to take time by just DVD, uh, short video. Anyway, here we are here. The ticking clock. What's this about? Well, let me just read it. When Mark turned his head and saw Emily, he saw he was awestruck. Later on in a meeting, a chance meeting, Emily began to think she met Mr. Roy. However, nothing could be further from the truth. Mark had a few secrets, namely Sarah and Charlotte, not forgetting his plot to murder Sarah's husband and destroy Charlotte's. This led on a trail of intrigue where he encountered Boogie, the gangland figure. They set the scene for an extraordinary climax as Mark visits a place called Hell in a piece of literary mingling between Dante's Inferno and Dickens, Dickens' A Christmas Carol. Equally, the reader might come to believe in God. This book is not for the faint hearted. And that's what I will say uh, when this book comes out, the ticking clock. If you're of, of a nervous disposition, I would uh, strongly advise you don't read it. Then maybe you give it to somebody else and let them read it and ask you for your account on what that is. Now, thank you. So where are we at the moment? Well, at the moment, with that, uh, it's been laid out. It's already got its first proof on the draft. So it'll possibly be out of Christmas before. Will be out of Christmas before it comes out on uh, in the shops. We were talking to people at the moment and there'll be 10,000 copies of it probably coming out on the first batch, which is a, is a lot of books. Uh, it's only a short book. It's 75 to 100 pages short. Why did I write it? Well, I was working on another story called Boogie and the Blind Man. And a friend of mine came to me and he had a disturbing story which he saw. Uh, he didn't see the story, he heard the story and then he checked up the information on YouTube and was fairly shocked to see how a young boy lost his life so early. A young man. So, we came, he came to me and asked me would, if, would I write uh, a story about a chap who tragically loses his life and the consequences being that he loses for eternity. Now, remember this, in the ticking clock the story is a fictional story. George Fitzgerald has never been to hell so he can't give a factual account. Straight off, I'll put that straight out. So if anyone's reading it, I have not been there, this is not a factual account based on what I witnessed. This is a fictional story based on the imagination of an author. It's not there to frighten anyone, it's not there to terrorise anyone, it's not a hell and damnation story, but it is, uh, in a sense, maybe to wake up a few people to the, uh, to, to the consequences of their action, because there is an eternal consequence to, 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 all, to whatever we do on this earth. I personally believe that. That's an argument for another day. Maybe other people have different opinions, that's fine, they're quite entitled to their opinion, but just let me be entitled to mine. That's what I'd ask. Because most people that have their opinions will generally challenge my opinions as if their opinion is right and I've known it all. I have an opinion and uh, I'm entitled to that. And the, the thing is that I'm entitled to it based on what I believe is truth uh, from, the, from the scriptures. Anyway, the purpose behind all this is to actually bring people's awareness to the truth of an eternity lost and an eternity found. And it's a simple, a simple conclusion. It's basically drafted in the book when he visits hell and he meets certain characters down there, uh, he will come quickly to the conclusion that it's, he's not in a good place. And number one, it is also easily sort of understood when he meets this character who plainly sets out the revelation of what he received of how he's there and why he's there and why he's never going to get out of there. And that's my basic thinking on the theology that I understand from Holy Scripture. And is it this? Is there, is there a purpose behind it as I said earlier? Yes, of course there's a purpose behind it. And the purpose behind it is this. Is that people come to recognise that they need a saviour. And that saviour is, to my mind, a man called Jesus. It's as simple as that. And listen, if this comes out before the Christmas, if it comes out before Christmas, all I can say to you is, Happy Christmas. I'll come back to you again on another time. Maybe we'll do more on bag walk 
or we'll do probably more on the walking the speed ball, the floor to ceiling ball, sorry, and left right lefts. Thank you very much for taking the time to uh, look at this short DVD. Bye bye bye, or video, sorry, bye.